Hey, what's up guys? So I've had a lot of requests to provide a virtual tour of my high school welding lab here in Wilmington, Ohio at Laurel Oaks, part of the Great Oaks District out of Cincinnati. So without further ado, let's see what we got. Right, so the first thing you're gonna notice walking to my lab are these beautiful hallways. Cool graphics with lights right above my lab door. Welding and fabrication, let's walk on in. Got a little bit of a advertisement sign here. Some of my past students on it. Walk through the door. There's a locker room directly to the right. This locker room has 50 lockers. Pretty well kept, nice and clean. This also has a bathroom attached to the locker room. Nice facilities to store your stuff. Walk on through. There's another restroom right outside the lab. Walk into the lab, shout out to Elite Welding Academy here in Cincinnati. It does a lot of testing for my students. Another sign, recent project just sitting around. So this is the tool crib. We got some extra, we got a extra XMT, a couple extra sinker waves, uh, some leads that are ready to go for next year with new uh, electrode holders. Track burner, pipe bender back in there, um, and all the tools we need to do welding and metal fabrication in these stronghold cabinets. So that's the tool crib area. Keep walking around, you're going to see this Lincoln Torch made. It's the only red machine I've got in here. It's the 4800. We do all kinds of projects on this thing. Awesome machine. Absolutely love it. Over to this side, I've got 10 welding booths on this side of the lab. You're going to see a lot of XMTs, 304s, and 350s. Um, booth space is pretty substantial. There's a lot of room in here. We've got weld positioners in every booth. Those arms will adjust to remove and extract fumes at the source. Uh, burn table, obviously. Steel rack looks pretty bare. We're at the end of the year. Big old bed and bender shear. Love this shear. Cut up the three eighths on this sucker. Then some storage out area back in here. And on this side of the lab, we actually have 16 booths. You're going to find some sinker wave 250s mixed into here. Some dynasties, anywhere from, a, I think there's a 350 and a 280 in here. Um, we got a couple more new machines coming. Same booth size, weld positioners. Got this Piranha iron worker here with all the dies, attachments. Um, Cozen bandsaw, horizontal bandsaw. You got all kinds of bench grinders. Closing drill press. Not a huge fan of this jet vertical bandsaw. Hope to get that replaced here soon. Then you're going to see, again, this is the 16 booths on this side. I also got one of these uh, Miller Matic 255s in. We really like that machine. We got several of these coming next year. So that's really a good look at my lab. Oh, here's the infamous whiteboard that every student has to line up on either side at the beginning of every year. And they have to line up single file on both sides of that board. And I have myself on one side, my aide on the other, and they have to recite a 16th scale before they can go to work every day for the first three weeks until they know that scale by heart. There will be nobody leaving this program not knowing how to read a tape measure. So this is the lab setting in a nutshell. We'll walk into the classroom. These kids have very nice classrooms to use too. Uh, there's my desk with my daughter. The welding aids desk. Big smart boards that we deliver content from. Posters around, all that good stuff. Whiteboard in the back. Very nice facilities. So I want to leave you with one quick disclaimer. This lab was recently cleaned for the end of the year. It's typically not this clean, uh, but I am very proud of the machinery, of the equipment that we have and the facilities that we have. My students are blessed to have this. Um, we thank the taxpayers on a regular basis. Um, what an environment they have to learn and grow in. I'm really proud of this place. I'm proud to call this place my home. 
and so are my students. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this tour, and as always, let's make it a great day.